All right, moving on. Generative AI is going to be bigger than the internet. That's the word coming in from seasoned investor Le Bhutan, chairman of Walden International and founding partner of Celesta Capital and Walden Capitalist Ventures. In a chat with me earlier, Le Bhutan said he was bullish on the deep tech startup space in India and highlighted the key attributes that entrepreneurs and businesses must have to succeed. He believes India, with its human capital, can play a key role in the global semiconductor story and be a big beneficiary of the rising tensions between the U.S. and China. China, take a look. All right, Mr. Tan, thank you again for your time in CNBC TV 18. Uh, you know, we're very glad to have you here uh, in Bengaluru. Uh, I want to start by asking your view about the state of the semiconductor industry in India. There's been a big uh, push from the government. There's been the production-linked incentive scheme. And as a result, we've seen the likes of Micron set up a plant. We've seen Tata uh, with their semiconductor fab and so on. Uh, what do you, as an expert in the field, make of the current state uh, you know, the industry here in India and what more would be needed for India to achieve the ambitions it has in the semiconductor space? Now, first of all, delighted to talk to you yeah. about the semiconductor industry. And then the industry is uh, growing tremendously. Yeah. I think people are predicting $1 trillion industry mm. by 2030. Mm. And then recently, because of AI, general AI driving the growth even faster, yeah. I'm very delighted the India government recognize the importance of the semiconductor hmm. and then how it's important to help the country and the industry to play a bigger role. Hmm. And so I think overall I'm very positive that recognize the importance of the semiconductor. It's a foundation technology hmm. that you need to have that to build all the purpose-built application that you want to drive. But I think you know going forward next step is to build that design capability okay. and a more fabulous design hmm. to support the industry growth hmm. and then because you need them to be the customer to fill the fab hmm. and then fab is very capital intensive yeah. and then so in some way you need not only the foreign customer you also need the local fabulous design vibrant uh, support on that. You said the semiconductor industry is going to be a trillion dollar industry. Uh, what is the role that India can play in the global uh, you know, supply chain, so to speak? Um, what is the positives that India can perhaps leverage uh, to play a bigger role on the global stage? Very good question. So clearly, you know, China recognized the semiconductor important. Hmm. So they have been funding a lot of homegrown company. Yeah. And then some of them become a world class uh, company uh, from China base mm. and then uh, in some of the area like automotive uh, in terms of crowd data center the 5G 6G mm. and then the industrial automations and uh, IOT so I think those are taking off and then clearly India can play a very important role first of all uh, US China uh, the tension is very high mm. and clearly you know India is a very unique opportunity to take become the next big uh, uh, growth area. And then one thing that India is very good at, you know, we have a very strong software talent. Hmm. And then the semiconductor, you really need to have the full stack, not just the semiconductors alone. You need to have software and the application and the system know-how. So I think you need to have that. But are there any signs yet to say that, you know, this China plus one strategy is actually working in the favor of countries like India in the field of semiconductor, for instance? I think so. Okay, now, if you look at some of the big giants like Foxcom, mm. like the Apple of the world, they all look at India as the next uh, area of growth. Mm. And I just saw the, the newspaper, you know, Apple have a very big growth, 8% growth on the iPhone in India. That's show you the indication. Hmm. And then a lot of big company right now starting to put uh, in a fab and then starting to put R&D increase into India. Human capital for India, of course. But what would you say are some of the flip sides to this tech race that we're seeing between some of the largest economies? Uh, are there some adverse outcomes, risks or challenges you foresee because of this? Yeah, so I think as always, you have opportunity, yeah. you have the risk involved. Yeah. And then, for so example, right now, the biggest thing happening right now is that generative AI. Yeah. And then almost every big corporation government talking to me about how big is generative AI? Is it a hype? Is it a real? Yeah. And is it going to be grow? Yeah. In my personal opinion, this is bigger than the internet impact. Okay. And, then, uh, and also driving a lot of growth 
in semiconductor. Hmm. And so I think with that, clearly you have some shakeup just like in, in our internet when it started. Yeah. There's a bubble, a lot of people collapsing. Hmm. But meanwhile, there's some really big platform come, yeah. like Amazon, yeah. like Netflix. Yeah. So that's just a few examples. Hmm. And I think clearly the general AI, you know, right now there's a lot of investment in this area. Some of them going to be you know, falling out, hmm. but some of them being acquired. But there's maybe three or five big platforms going to come off from here. Well, um, I also want to take a step back since we're sitting in Bangalore, uh, you know, the startup capital of the country, and how you as an investor as well see uh, the startup ecosystem shaping up in India. Uh, we're home to the third largest number of startups in the world. Uh, we have more than $100 billion startups here in India. As an investor, what is the kind of opportunity you see? Have you met some companies in your trip that you're excited about investing in, perhaps? Yeah, I've been investing and watching India growth. And uh, I was early investor in my tree. Yeah. And I was an investor with Ghani yeah. and, and uh, on this uh, idea force yeah. and a few others investment I make. Hmm. So I think overall, India is a great opportunity. There's a lot of entrepreneurs. Hmm. But I think it's more important how to scale it to be a big company. Hmm. Uh, in terms of opportunity, what I see is uh, next five, the next 10, 15 years, mm. what I'd like, really like to see mm. is some of this Indian talent. And instead of just doing design service yeah. and outsourcing, you know, have your own product, your own brand, mm. and then really become a world-class uh, player. Mm. And I think we have a potential here. And uh, India can really take on to the become a world World stage, hmm. some of the leading company. Yeah. So I think my advice to some of the Indian entrepreneur: yeah. be bold, yeah. think big, yeah. and then uh, and then you know uh, make it uh, happen. Well, with that, it's a wrap from Ritu and me, Shruti, on this edition of. Star